Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. We are going to go start burrowing. You managed to fit a fully functional brewery on a single floor. Impressive, right? We can take those apples we just collected and turn them into brew in no time at all. The first thing we need to do is move the apples from the plain inventory into a brewery inventory. You can open the inventory tab to make the transfer. So inventory. Transfer. Oh, it only let us have 100 apples. That's a bummer. Great. Now that the apples are available to be processed, we can briefly walk through the brewery menus. Highlighted at the top are the brewery options. In addition to crafting new brews, you can also look up recipes, manage your back's catalog, upgrade the brewery, and manage any delivery contacts or contracts. Okay. Let's start by opening the create menu. The large metal pot is where we will blend our ingredients. Highlighted is the brewery pot interface. It is used to measure percentage ratios of ingredients dispensed into the blending pot. It's important to know that only the top three ingredients in the pot of a sufficient quantity will count towards your brew outcome. So don't go throwing in a whole slew of different ingredients in. It won't do you much good. So we can only do up to three. Beneath the ingredient percentages shows the value of your dispensed ingredients, and below that is the alcohol by volume percentage. As you dispense ingredients, the maximum alcohol potential will go up. Sometimes it's important to pay attention to the max alcohol potential. Some clients prefer a hard drink with a very high alcohol percent. Okay, this is getting really in depth. In this situation, you may need to carefully dispense the correct ingredients to reach a high enough alcohol potential in order to satisfy them. Here's the reset button. Ooh, okay, that's nice. It's useful if you dispense the wrong ingredient or your pot contents don't reach the desired alcohol potential. Now the fun part, this is the ingredient wheel. It allows you to cycle through all of the ingredients that have been placed in the brewery inventory. You can use the dispense button just below it to drop all 100 apples into the pot. Let's do that now. Oh, cool. The ingredients will blend once a total of 100 units are dispersed, are dispensed. Next, we'll add yeast to the mixture, which will convert it into alcohol. Pay attention to the rise in alcohol percentage while adding yeast. Uh, add yeast. Okay. Oh, I have to just click this. You can add yeast by holding down and releasing the scoop button. The longer you hold, the more yeast will be scooped. The process of adding yeast will stop if you hit the end button or if the alcohol content of your pot reaches its max potential. Okay. 3%. Okay, there we are. Ooh, okay. Pick a method of brew brewing. Next, we'll process the mixture. We can ferment, which will produce a higher yield of drinks with a low value and alcohol percentage. Or we can ferment and distill. We do have a distillery, which will produce lower yield with a higher value product and alcohol percentage. Take note that each method will produce a different type of brew. In this case, our apple mixture can either become cider or brandy, depending which method is taken. Let's choose fermenting and let the brew magic work its magic. Presto, our mixture has now been turned into a cider in just a matter of moments. This particular brew turned out a little basic. As a, result, as a result, its value is low. Though no worries, next time we can try crafting a brew with multiple ingredients to produce a better product. We can now choose to discard the brew or proceed to bottle. Select bottle to continue. 
Oh, wow, look at this. Label, import label. We can start customizing our product to our liking. We can change the bottle appearance and rename the product to anything we like. When you are happy with the design, you can press the finish button. Okay. Oh, look at that. Uh, let's do a cap like that. Oh, that's a sake. Kind of like that one. Because uh, it's a pretty basic, pretty basic brew. And the bottle, ooh. That's all of them. Let's go with something like that. Bottle weathering. Oh, goodness. We'll keep it like that. Can we name it? Import label? Oh, that's cool. We can actually import labels. Not in the demo, it looks like, but... Our new cider brew will now appear under the My Products menu. This menu is used to produce more units of any branded brews you've already crafted. Should a client request a branded brew that's out of stock, you could open this menu to produce more if you have sufficient ingredients. There's one last step. Seeing as we have no client contracts requesting cider, we can stack the stock the cider at our own bar. Though first we must set up our bar. Let's head up to the top floor by accessing the exit menu. By accessing the exit menu. Oh. Bar. That's it. There used to be a bunch of old antiques collecting dust up here. It may not look like much and the floors creak terribly, but with some work we can turn this place into a cozy bar. Unnamed bar. One that is stocked full with our own brewed products. That would be great. We will have to start with a basic tarnished floor plan for the time being. With enough funds, the bar can be renewed and polished. In doing so, we'll gather more bar, our bar more fame. This is the fame meter. It will rise as we improve our bar and sell high quality. Where's the fame meter? Um, high quality brews. With more fame comes more sales. It won't be easy, but our goal is to create a renowned top tier bar known far and wide oh, up there. In that case, we should style the bar accordingly to the type of types of brew plant we plan to sell. A bar patron that refers that prefers cider might enjoy a classical bar theme, whereas a wine drinker might prefer a more elegant theme. Sure, with all the chairs and antiques I found up here, it shouldn't take much for us to try out several bar themes. We can find a theme that best suits our brews. Let's start by choosing a theme for our bar. You can do so by opening the design panel. Cool. Wine and brandy, beer and vodka, rum and brandy. That's it? No whiskey? It is just the demo. We'll do rum and brandy. Theme level. Next important thing. Let's think of a good name for the bar. Something that communicates the sophistication and tasteful style of our brand. Type the name into the text box now. Well, this is just the demo, so we're just gonna call it Starbar. Oops, I was hitting caps lock earlier. Starbar. Press enter. Starbar. Interesting choice. Fortunately, we can always change it later. <laughs> I wonder if that's just what she's always says. You can also upgrade your theme and adjust the visuals of your bar from these menus. Oh, you'll want to be sure to upgrade your theme when you have enough money. Is what costs money to upgrade? Yeah. You want to be sure to upgrade your theme when you have enough money. It only cleans up the bar. It not only cleans up the bar, but also grants extra fame. And with the theme bar all set up, we'll want to move our cider into the bar so it can be slowly sold over time. Open the inventory and make the transfer. So we go to inventory. 
through the bar. There. We're now open for business. Be sure to keep the bar stocked with brews that suit our chosen theme. Okay, so I should probably change the theme back to something that handles cider at the moment. We should also get in the habit of visiting our bar periodically. Not only can we review our sales history here, but also gossip with the locals. They might provide valuable feedback on our bar or brews. There's no doubt some interesting locals and travelers will stop by. Maybe even some pilots we can convince to join and help topple those pirate jerks. I bet you're right. It looks like we're all set and ready to finally start this. The rest is up to us. Let's get out there and explore. Make connections, collect ingredients, and grow our brewing enterprise. Okay. Tutorial finished. New game begins. You're now able to customize your bar appearance to your liking. Adjust floor plans, colors, surfaces, seating, lighting, and more. You're now able to choose between fermenting and distilling methods. <gasps> Whiskey! Beer, wine, vodka, brandy, and rum. You're now able to customize the look of the planes by swapping parts and adjusting colors. Cool. Additional part blueprints and paints can be purchased from the hangar catalog. You're now able to explore beyond the main island in search of new ingredients, recipes, contracts, blueprints, and much more. It looks like we have our first customer already. I suppose the word gets around fast in these sleepy places. Do you want me to show you how to talk to visitors in the bar? I want to get to flying. Let's talk to the visitor. Patron gossip. Inspector... Hello, and welcome to the grand opening of Starbar. <laughs> uh, I'm Francie, the proprietor. Can I offer you a drink? I'm Inspector Ruslana, Chief of Police and Brewing Standards Inspector for the City of Valle. I approved your permit application, so I'm just here to make sure everything is in order as you open for business. Well, then it's on the house for such a valued member of the law enforcement community. I shouldn't really since I'm on duty, but I suppose just this once. Thank you. Let's see how it tastes. Bland and tasteless. I don't think you'll stay in business for long if you keep serving drinks like this. Oh no, how can I make less boring drinks? Your drinks will be more interesting if you add different ingredients, but be careful to get the proportions right or it will just come out like sludge. Okay. We're new in town. What can you tell us about the area? Well, it's quiet and out of the way, though during the Civil War, it was one of the last democratic strongholds there was. Oh, so there was a lot of fighting. You might still find some sunken wrecks in the water dating back to that time. The area around the town is very peaceful, but as you go towards the outer islands, there could be some rough elements. We just simply don't have enough law enforcement resources to keep an eye on everything. In fact, there are reports of suspicious activity in the Vela Eastock Islands to the east, so be careful if you go out there. Now, what do you know about the Pirate Brewing Company? That outfit is causing me problems. They pose as a legitimate brewing company, but they've been using strong-arm tactics intimidation to coerce the local bars to stock their products, which are garbage, by the way. I've managed to keep things in check around here, but in the Outer Islands, I've heard they have an absolute monopoly, so be warned that if you compete with them, you need to be prepared to fight. Is the license all in order? Yes, it was one of the most meticulously crafted application forms I've ever received. Thanks. Actually, I was top of the class in business school when it came to form filling. Yes, I can tell. It is a very useful skill. Can I offer you? We're just going to say goodbye. She's not going to want another drink. One, she's on duty, and two, she said it tastes bland. Okay, let's go back to bar design. Let's do... Oh, I had it right. Vodka, cider, and then rum and brandy are on the bottom. I kept looking at the, the red instead of the green. Okay. Floor plan one. Here's two. Three. So this one has... I like the pictures on the walls.
So when someone comes up the stairs, they're looking at the back wall, so I actually like it at the bar like this. Although they're kind of looking at a blank wall, but you can still see the bar on either side, and it kind of moves people in. Okay, let's do that. Chairs, curved, rigid, checker, stump, cushioned. Let's do those. Oh, those are neat. Oh, the lights. Amber dome curled. Tube lights. I kind of like the amber domes. We'll stick to that. Ooh, the walls. I do like the brick. Except there's all sorts of brick. Let's do that. The wood stain. Ooh. The ash is nice. Feels dark in here, but that's okay. Metal stain. Metal stain. Silver. Ooh. I like the copper. Yeah, let's do the copper. Smoking and non-smoking. We're gonna stick to non-smoking. So I guess we're gonna fly? Oh, there's a demo time limit. I just noticed that. So we got 30 minutes now after. Okay. Refuel. I feel like you should always refuel before you leave. We don't need to repair, so let's undock. So we don't want to go to the east. Now all the technical information is out of the way. We are free to do what we want. We can explore, collect ingredients, make new brews. However, we are nearly broke, so one thing we should do is visit the local bars and see if they will buy any of our brews. The more bars we can deliver to, the more money we can make. Dog and shovel just around the corner from here. Okay. Marker down for the location. Excellent. Dog and shovel. Great. So let's grab the engine. This is a dock, it looks like. Let's slow down to 30. Man, after the tutorial, they don't hold your hand at all. Okay, we don't want to stop. Just have to slowly bring it down. There. Oh, this is a little more of a hopping bar. Very nautical themed. Oh, talk. Old Man McGee. Oi, oi, welcome to the Dog and Shovel. I'm Old Man McGee, proprietor. Fancy a pint? Uh, sure, why not? Uh, that's the good stuff. Nothing beats a good pint of prickly beer. Of course, you can't get one round these parts. That's why I opened this place. Now, what can I do for you? Um, I was wondering if you're interested in a new brew supplier. 
Well, as a matter of fact, I am. Of course, normally I'd get my stock imported from Old Lady, but since the Socialists won the election, the whole place has been on strike. Still, you seem like a reliable chap, and we're basically neighbors, so I'll give you a chance. I'll draw up a contract right away. Okay, so he wants beer. Just to get you started, here's a recipe for a brew we like around here. Of course, you don't have to follow it exactly, but it should give you an idea to begin with. So, make sure you deliver on time, though. I have no patience for contract breakers. And make sure the quality is good. I've got standards to maintain. Oh. Um. Let's talk deliveries. Uh, okay, nope. I heard any news lately. Nothing, okay. Goodbye. So that's a... We served our first contract. Okay, we can't look at it now. Let's turn our throttle on. We need to figure out where to get wheat from. Uh, we don't want to go east. So I guess we'll fly around a little bit and look for stuff. We got some apples here. Definitely take. Should have refilled my gauge before we left. Let's do that now. Oh, 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 not too... Oh, I see a mill over there. That's promising. Oh, rough landing. Whoops. Yeah, we are at full throttle. Uh-oh. Ooh, sunflowers. Okay. What is that? Honey. Oh, it's honey. We hit a... Th Sunken wreck spotted. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. We're, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. What do you mean it's just a scratch? Okay. Whoops. Fuel's not that bad at all. New contract. I can't look at it. Okay. Uh, inventory. At least did we get some stuff? Okay, we got some honey. And some apples. Resume. Undock. Let's go travel again. I was not expecting this to be quite a flight simulator. Uh, let's refill our tank, and now let's get up. I'm just very impatient, and you have to be, like, super patient with this flying. Okay, so a ro uh, wreckage was spotted over here. Okay, so there's the... There's where we were before. Um, I see the mill there. There's, like, a water tower over here. And then we don't crash again. Okay, there's some more flowers here for honey. As long as we don't crash into them. Okay. So far, so good. What's this? Grapes? Didn't hit it at all. Oh, let's try this one. Uh, okay, didn't hit it at all. Oh, this one, though. Are we, like, stealing supplies from people? 
So you can definitely brew wine now. There was a wreckage over here. I'm going to try not to turn too hard. I'm gonna look for the mill. That's where it was. Let's slow down a little bit so I can get close enough to get some more water. Okay, and we didn't even land. Good, now we can crank up our speed. Still haven't found wheat though. Or hops, I guess it's hops if it's gonna be beer. Okay, she said we found a wreckage over here. Before we completely and utterly lost control of our plane. I'm not seeing anything. Let's check out this island here. Um, we can water boost. Fly a little faster. That's nice, okay. Oh, it's owned by pirates. I'm out, I'm out. Okay, so home is there. Let's go back to this island here. Uh, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, way. Hey. Don't show your face again. Eventually. Eventually. have to fly at those straight on to get anything. Oh, is this the wreckage? Uh, let's actually land in the water and exp Oh, right there. Okay, there it is. And there's a fishing spot? Let's land gently. Okay, okay. A little bit of rough seas out here. I crank up the throttle again. There's the wreckage. Slow down and try to scoot right in next to it. Can I do anything with it, though, is the question. No. Restarting. Oops. I beached too much. Oh, what was that? We can drop an anchor? Uh, it doesn't look like I have the ability to do that. 
It must be a part I need. Ugh, I keep forgetting that I could... I need to pick up some more water. Every time I'm on the ground. Oh, okay. We're close enough to get that. Good, good. I didn't have to slow down at all. Let's go back up here and get these grapes. Hit the tree. Didn't really get it. Okay. Oh, there's more up here. Don't hit trees. Our capacity. Okay, we still have plenty of room. There's a couple islands down here we can look at. I don't think we've got any, uh, pirates to worry about over here. Isra? I try not to crash. I just want to get some water here. Oh, now we're going into nightfall. Don't flip the plane. Throttle up. Okay, I see more flowers for honey. We can look at the map, right? Nope. I... Oh, whoops. Did I just turn my plane off? I just turned my plane off. Restart, restart. <laughs> whoops. Oh, it's only 6 p.m. It got dark fast. I don't feel like I'm getting any closer to this island, but it is getting bigger. Maybe I'm just getting lower. <laughs> it's really tough to judge how far I am up from the water here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, we're not allowed to go this far. Oh, I have a cat walking on my keyboard. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble. Okay, okay. Less trouble. Less trouble. Oh, my controls were locked. Okay. Great. We don't even have enough to make a brew of anything yet. Um, oh wow, I'm way over time. This is where I'm going to end this episode, and when we get back, we'll try to make something if I can get a few more ingredients. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.